and I am actually working really, really hard on that one because I do think it's pretty important to get like a good sleeping schedule for a lot of reasons. But anyways, no, no sleeping schedules here. Instead, we have that horrifying looking me brawler versus uh, Ridley, who's also kind of horrifying looking himself. So, uh, welcome to DNA. Here's our I, own, I here's think it was like person. a week ago <gasps> that like I was the last time I got out of bed in the actual AM. Yeah, dude. About sleep schedules, yeah, yeah, sleep so. schedules. Forget it. No. <laughs> Uh, you can already talk about forget. This is uh? It's, is this yeah, is this experimental? Uh, I've never seen this. No, he he, he comes out. Yeah, uh, a lot of times um, he'll get stuffed out round one by like one of one of like the high seeds or uh, whatever the case may be. He actually did pretty well, I think, in the last platinum star on Saturday though, just like in his own right. He, I mean, he got second in items, but I think he did well in regular bracket too. Yeah, I recall him doing pretty well in the regular bracket at the uh, at the last Platinum Star Online too, like the one before last uh, the one before last week. If and I do recall correctly, I remember him placing relatively high. Could be mistaken. No, I think. But either way, it. here he is with the Me Brawler. Yeah, I didn't know this was a character of his at all. So. I didn't yeah, know Me Brawler was in the game. Same. Me, Me Brawler is like that odd. Depending on the move set, you can have him as this odd mishmash of Mario Fox and ZSS. Honestly, yeah. So, like, he's not as good as each one of those characters individually, but he carries all of their same positives. Mm. And we see the flip kick here. Uh, it's like, he has Mario's, like, pretty solid Nair, and Fox's back air to finish combos. Uh, great individual smash attacks, a... Okay, the projectile's not great. He's <laughs> <But laughs> got up air strings like Mario, too. I know what you're True. trying to say. I mean, honestly, Oz, like... Uh, me Brawler is like the kind of character that like you took those three characters, you put them in a blender, but then you left it on too long, and you know just there are little shards of the blade that just get wind up getting stuck in it after you break it. Up smash. Speaking of breaking, not breaking, a uh, solar beam right there, who is still sitting pretty on his first stock. Will the jab do it? Not even close to that, actually. I didn't know. I actually didn't know if that was the kind of jab that had mm, kill power or not. And right there. Looking like that answered our question. Dash attack, launching him off. He's going to air dodge right back. Good stuff on Solar Beam going low to make sure there can't be any clean back airs or any semblance of uh, any semblance of easy edge guards for uh, knowing that he's just going to put out that uh, he's just going to put out that shot put, which only sends at that one angle that it does. And Ridley's just going to go low and get around that. Now he's holding stage control and he's doing a good job keeping the space. But there you go, finally committing with the down smash right there because he knew he could. He was up. He was up two stocks. I mean, why would you not? Dude, I, uh, yeah, Ace already mentioned this in chat. I just, this me brawler's voice in particular. <laughs> oh, dude, you're lucky. I can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I'm yeah, sorry you guys either. can't hear it. Well, it's, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> I, I didn't like how his name was Hypnophobe as a, as a convenient segue from our sleep conversation into this guy who obviously looks like he needs a couple winks. Does that mean that, like, he's, like, He's intolerant of hypnotists. No, it's phobe as in phobia, as in like he's yeah. like irrationally afraid of sleep. I think. Uh... Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, you put phobia in front of anything, it's supposed to represent a fear. But I mean, if you're homophobic, you're not scared of gay people. You're you're just a prick. I'm a sleepophobic. Yeah. Hmm. Get that sleep away from that, me. That makes you a jerk, Chris. You're afraid of sleep. <clears throat> yeah, I can say that's pretty That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, uh, well, Morty, look, look like we're gonna we're gonna have another nest out here, Morty. Here wow, that's nest. actually pretty impressive. I'll I'll give that one to you. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Rick is right one on, of my uh, slightly more practiced ones. But here you go, the nest of uh back out. This is his uh, I don't even know how to how to describe it. His casual character, I guess. I mean, I've seen no, him it as a uh, his nest in the yeah, PSO it's his character, before, just so. straight up. Oh, okay. Then I don't know what the I don't know what the me brawler is all about. Trying something new, maybe electing a secondary. Maybe he feels like Ridley. Uh, Maybe he feels like, uh, whatchamacallit, maybe he feels like Me Brawler does a little better against Ridley, which I can see. I mean, Me Brawler is very good at juggling. You know, I mean, we were talking about, uh, you, Ubel, you were talking about, like, all the different things that he has, like, oh, Mario Nair, Fox, Dash Attack, Back Air, whatever. He's also got Mario Up Air Strings, is oh. what Me Brawler has. Oh my god, and speaking of strings, getting the strings of that PK Thunder 1 to convert into the Back Air beautifully, my god. Looking like the Ness already working on some wonders compared to that Me Brawler. Yeah, it just goes back to why the game won Me Brawler, because you're trying to get this combo character working on a big body, but Ness already juggles characters super well. They're not like full combos or strings, but 
you just have massive hitboxes to knock Wrigley side to side, up and down. Like, he doesn't really have much to do with it, much to deal with it besides, like, I'm gonna fall with Nair and hope, like, I can get back to the ground and start playing my game. Yeah, like, right there, he landed to the left of All right there, and All, like, decided to put himself into the ground with the PK Thunder 2, but he could have easily decided right there to go for a PK Thunder 2 rocket to the left, and instead, he would have killed Solar Beam for that had he chose to do that option instead, and he would have been up 3-1 right now. That wasn't what he decided to do right there, but like you were talking about, besides Nair, you know, might be a little bit tricky for Solar Beam to get off of the, uh, as a dash tag does take the stock, a little bit tricky for him to get back to the actual level, you know, besides that Nair. I mean, it's just the thing with Ridley. He's such a big target. He's not, I mean, he's heavy, but he's not like a super heavy. He's not like Bowser DKK rule heavy or whatever. As well as, uh, what am I trying to say? Here on a Unova, it might be a little easier for him to catch his landings. But then again, we were on Battlefield before, which is pretty easy to do it. <gasps> there! True! Oh, oh, oh no. my god! What kind of. That's such an equalizer! What What kind of crackhead option was that? Okay, so Ridley's upbeat pretty much sends in the direction that you hold the angle at. So I've seen Ridley's do that all the time where they- Oh, of course, but I mean, when you're tied in stocks, yeah. you're a madman. It's all about that percent, man. Ridley suffers so much at a percent differential like he is right now because he can't get it, keep his feet on the ground and Ridley plays so well out of shield. But this mat, this kind of like mediocre airspeed and like kind of un- Uneffective, ineffective projectile while good for conversions isn't really great at it takes too long to charge like Ridley can have a hard time keeping stage presence so he needs those like ratchety kill options that tech chasing and side B setups can really lead to oh, man. there you go but, you know. back air finally closing out the stock most of that damage he got on Solar Beam in that, uh, in that final stock was actually off of one string. He got him in a PK fire lock, and then he just down aired him out of it, up tilt scooped. It was a beautiful sight to behold. I mean, we were talking about that crazy edge guard at the time, but I still feel the need to bring that up, even though the match is already over. It was a beautiful conversion by, uh, you can tell this character is a little more practiced on his end, to say the least, or at the very least, this is tried and true main. Let's take a look at that again. My Jesus. God, it's so cool looking, dude. Honestly. So yeah, let's take a look at this one right here. The closer, the finisher out right here. It's just looking like just pretty raw back air right in the center of the stage. It's going to do it to Ridley around that percent. Now, the question is the stage counter pick on the part of Solar Beam. This ain't no, uh, this ain't no Zeno. I, I, I played in Zeno yesterday. I had to ban Lila just about every time. We don't got to do that here. Fine. Yeah, 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 we, it's, 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 it's okay. Okay, we don't got to do that here. As Glenn enters the lobby, Why for whatever reason, here? I don't know if <laughs> he's figures going to be on he's stream probably next. next. I, I got to start, like, getting better at that. Sometimes I just forget to limit the, the lobby. I'm just it's like, okay, okay lobby's so open. Good. Fun fact, he was just playing with Nairo on his uh, on his stream. He ran into him on Elite Smash. Bro, is he going to win? or what's, what's, That's actually really funny. No, I think I think Nairo landed a hose mad combo. So with good. his hero and and he got the crit it was it was pretty funny but he no, Glenn did pretty good for himself i mean that's nairo that's like a that's a top yeah, 10 player in the world my yeah, friends so I, it's it's that's it's funny like when everyone used to rip on like gunblade when he was on his stream all the time he's like yo gunblade's terrible but it's like well I yeah mean, like, it's also nairo <laughs> like, right. and now they do that to Gaitaro. yeah he's actually not a bad player in his own right by any stretch but then again nairo just makes everybody look like trash so whatever but now we are here back on battlefield a little bit surprising. I mean, Solar Beam did really good on the stage before. I don't think it's too bad of a stage for Ridley. Theoretically, he should have a very hard time landing here against characters who are jugglers. But then again, me Brawler is definitely a juggle type character, and Solar Beam, as that back air takes the stock, he didn't have that hard of a time coming down on the stage. I mean, the platforms can make your landing options just that much more linear. But then again, with Ridley's huge hitboxes, I feel like he controls space once he actually regains stage control on the stage so, so well. And I think that's what Solar Beam is going to be thinking about here. Especially now that he's down a stock. I mean, regaining stage control is one thing, but right now he's just kind of trying to find a way to close out the stock. But right now, Battlefield is doing Battlefield things with these platform extenders and whatnot. His uh, hype, uh, hype no phobes. Uh. <laughs> uh, I should say with the tag. As uh, just pushes this lead even further. Yeah, it looks like Solar Beam's like trying to look for uh, us landing, landing air dodges to really punish them. Like right there, he catches him with the up smash. You could see him kind of starting to look for it after every sort of throw or down tilt. He would just dash him on the ground. 
uh, and really can cover ground pretty well. It's just a matter of, like, how do I... How does Ridley catch people? <laughs> That's a real a real struggle this character can have sometimes. Yeah, I feel like he could uh, take advantage of the fact that his character has good speed, but at the end of the day, I... It's all... On a stage like Battlefield, I feel like it's a lot more about that coverage. Like, if we were to go to Final Destination, it could be rough because, like, there are no platforms to be able to, I don't know, combo on or whatever. But then again, I feel like, you know, the wider space, you know, benefits a character who's a lot faster than Ness, like Ridley is, for sure. Rather, on a stage like this... Battlefield, as big as the blast zones are, the stage itself is low-key confined because of the platforms. It sort of creates a smaller space because it makes it a little bit harder for you to land. You gotta really, like, watch your landings and watch whatever uh, aerial attacks you decide to actually come down with. It's really important, like, whatever you choose on a stage like this because the platforms can make your landings just that much more linear. But when you're on the stage itself and you're actually trying to regain stage control, it's a lot tighter because of the platforms. There's not much space to do it, which is why, theoretically, I feel like Solar Bee may have wanted to go to the stage because Ridley's, uh, that back here takes the stock from, uh, uh, because Ridley's hitboxes are pretty big, like up smash. Oh, yes. That's a really big one right there as we go down to the final stock of the set. Yeah, I'm wondering, hmm. It's a, it's really hard to watch, like, Ridley uh, in some of these matchups. Uh, oh, Man. that was, um, oh. I feel like that didn't have to happen. But it did. Yeah. And Solar Beam out in his round, uh, his winner's round three, I should say, here in pool one, uh, going down to the loser's bracket. Uh, over uh, uh, against uh, I should say. Oh. Uh, man, let's take a look at this again. This yeah, is... he burned one of his jumps. Yeah, he, a... he burned one of his jumps in between the PK Thunder hits. That's what did it. You know, the character's got multiple jumps, but it's not going to matter if you let yourself get gimped and you don't utilize them properly. Unfortunately, he just didn't take a... Not take advantage, but he didn't, uh, what am I trying to say here? He didn't, he didn't really, you know, take it, uh, he didn't really think about the situation there, where PK Thunder is going to come out, 